Political analyst John Dadian is here to uh, give us a little preview of what we can expect at the RNC. Of course, John, um, the weather going to be a major factor in all of this, but let's get to the politics involved in this convention. What does Mitt Romney need to do to win over the uh, independent voters, I guess you could say, and how important is this week for him? This week is very important because up to now, even though he's been going back and forth with his uh, uh, Democratic opponent on the airwaves, this is going to be his chance to define himself, mm -hmm. to uh, unaltered, uh, have, get his message out, what it is. Also, it's going to be a lot of pressure on the vice president because not only does the vice president uh, nominee need to define himself, but he needs to prove that Romney made the right choice. So they both have a lot riding on this. And speaking of the vice president, it seems that in the beginning when this announcement came of the pick, he had a lot of attention. Now it seems like he's kind of taking, you know, a back seat. Will he have a big role at the RNC, and what will his role be? Oh, absolutely. Keep in, keep in mind, uh, right now the schedule, which is changing as we right. all know, but right now the normal schedule is on Wednesdays when the vice president gets nominated. So his speech hopefully will hit out of the ballpark. If you remember four years ago, Sarah Palin, no matter what you think of her, gave a great speech and really for won she over. Did. She did. She rallied a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of people. Absolutely. She brought out a lot of mm -hmm. voters. So mm -hmm. that'll be Wednesday night, and that's the vice president's night to shine. But you never want to overshadow the president. Uh, nominee, and that will happen the next night, and that's when Romney gives a speech. So that is the chronology, and that's the roles that they need to play. He needs to give a good speech to show that he's credible to be vice president, but then give it to his boss the next evening. And going back to Mitt Romney, he's been criticized for being out of touch with the American public, particularly the middle class. What does he really need to do to get that likability factor and win over some of those swing voters? I think it's kind of a, a, a negative declaration. He needs not to make any more mistakes because right now all the polls are showing that he is moving up. It is a tight race, and I predict it's going to remain a tight race, especially in swing states. But if he keeps going the way he is and Obama does not come up, as long as he doesn't make any mistakes, he's going in the right direction. John, let's talk about women in this, uh, in this election and uh, obviously women's rights, uh, women's health issues brought to the forefront this past week. Ann Romney, she's going to be speaking and she has a big, big role to fill as far as reaching out to the women out there and trying to uh, make her husband look like he's the guy to uh, bring women's rights to the forefront. Uh, how much pressure is on Ann to really deliver a really top-notch speech? About as heavy as it gets because especially within the recent weeks of this Missouri uh, yeah. issue, et cetera, she needs to let people know that strong women are going to be in the uh, administration, that they're going to have a voice, and this is her chance to hit it out of the ballpark. Now, mm -hmm. the good news is if you've seen her speak before, which I have, she's very, very good. When she's at her best, there's no better. So I expect great things from her this, this week. All right, John, let's, uh, let's turn things over to the uh, local mayor's race, which is obviously gotten very heated in the last couple of weeks. But a big question I want to ask you this morning, uh, let's take our current mayor, Mayor Jerry Sanders, who was originally uh, backing uh, Bonnie Dumanis and was very, very strong in his opinion about why she should be the next mayor. Obviously, she is not running anymore. Where does his support go now? Because we've seen his relationship with Carl DeMaio. Uh, you know, it's not exactly the best one out there. Uh, but would he, would he back a Democrat? I, I think Mayor Sanders and a lot of folks are having the same problem that the average voter in San Diego is having, and that is they're not happy with either choice. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that's unfortunate. I think that's unfair to the two candidates who did make it in the general, because I've always said they give two complete, they, they give you a good choice because they're the complete opposite. But clearly, I think some of the factors that are playing in this, so Mayor Sanders personally does not like Council de Mayo. They've had a very stormy uh, political relationship, uh, and they've actually, you know, had harsh words in, with mm -hmm. each other in public many, many times. On the other hand, Jerry Sanders has always been backed by the Republican Party. Right. They just recently gave him a little salute uh, uh, last week, et cetera. So it would be very difficult for him to go to the uh, Democrat. Now, on the other hand, the third bad news is if he stays neutral, that sends a strong signal. Right. So it really is mm -hmm. almost a 